Researchers studying potential COVID-19 treatments are considering what may seem like an unexpected option, cancer drugs. KXAN investigator Arzo Dost reports clinical trials are underway, but it could be some time before we see if these drugs really work. They're meant to treat different kinds of leukemia, but now researchers wonder if these drugs can help COVID-19 patients. The virus sets off this big reaction, this inflammation cascade, and so we're looking a lot at medicines that can decrease that inflammatory cascade. The drugs are acalbrutinib and ebrutinib, already FDA approved for cancer treatment. Dr. Jeff Urio with Texas Oncology says early data by their national research group shows acalbrutinib improved breathing and inflammation, but they tried it with fewer than 20 COVID-19 patients. We'll have to wait and see if uh, with like a big randomized clinical trial, if that actually shows any real improvement or not. A government registry shows there are three clinical trials in the country involving these drugs. The most recent looks at how ibrubinib works in treating hospitalized COVID-19 patients and if it reduces the need for a ventilator. Does it concern you that everyone's going to start asking for a prescription? They're not produced as, as readily and again they're very expensive so sure it would it, you know could limit supply and things like that if they ultimately ended up showing some promise. These clinical trials can last months, if not longer. Are they going to be effective or could they be harmful? Because sometimes medicines could be harmful if we're just giving them to people without knowing the results. So Arzo Dose, KXAN Investigate.